So Sophia and I are in the backwoods getting some rocks or broken concrete. We have this. Fun. I could go run over there and show them. No, we'll, we'll go over there in a second. We have this huge pile. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me go. It's a snake pit. It's probably a snake pit. But we have this huge pile of broken up concrete from the previous owners. Owners. There must have been some sort of building or construction that they just dumped all of their broken slab in the back. Most thing just fell. That would be such a good tree Corner tree of our house. property. So, just to give you some perspective, like, here's the greenhouse and the chicken coop and the gardens right there. So we're just there's kind of paths, along a couple paths here. Yeah, I got a beehive right here. <laughs> anyway, we're picking pieces out of this. And this is... <laughs> Sophia's talking to the neighbors, AKA neighbor turkeys. Um, we got some broken pieces here. We're gonna use it for uh, a garden bed border. And I'll show you guys what that looks like in just a second. But first, we need to take tractor rides. Farm life. All right, we have arrived at the final destination. This is what we're working on. With the cost of lumber, what it is now, which is like ludicrous, we're just taking these broken up concrete pieces and we're breaking them into rocks. We're like, making puzzles. Yep, we're using our puzzle skills. Look at how nice they look. They look like just decorative border rock. And we're repurposing. What did you say earlier, Sylvia? Oh, we were re flourishing the environment because of the crappy job people did with our stuff. Because we have bees and we have chickens, and chickens like make the soil grow. Regenerating. And Regenerative farming. That's the. Right? We're mm -hmm. taking our little piece of earth that. People didn't exactly care for great. Look at all of our wild of flowers. There's so many, whatever these are called. Clover. clover. Yep. We let our clover go wild. We let all of our weeds yep, yep. go go wild. And um, the wildlife flourishes. So we are regenerating our little. <gasps> Can we show them our uh, the birds that we have? Our cardinal family eggs. All right, we'll show you our cardinal family. We have a couple cardinal families that live in our yard. It's a it's a sanctuary for all wildlife here. Bees, birds, everything included. Dragonflies. dragonflies. You probably can't see that, but we have dragonflies everywhere. But anyway, this is what we're doing. We're building ourselves a little garden bed here. We just have a little bit more to go here. It's hard to do backwards with the camera. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is where all my medicinal flowers, cut flowers, herbs are going to go. All right, Sophia wants to show you our cardinal family. Let's go. It's across the yard, so hold on one second. All right, we're at the cardinal nest. This is our elderberry patch behind the garage. And there's a mama bird on it right now. So I don't want to get too close, but she'll probably fly away in a second. Oh, there she goes. She scared me. We'll move in one second and let her get right back. But I'm gonna show you guys. Did they hatch? Did they hatch? No, they didn't hatch yet. It's just a darker on one side. I'm They've looking through the camera. Forever. So, anyway, we're gonna let her be. The Cardinal gotta... family has been here. It wasn't here before, but then they moved here and they've been here for like a long time. Yeah, we've had name five generations of Cardinal families raised on our property, so it's pretty awesome. It definitely reminds me of my loved ones that have passed on. Every time I see it, they say Cardinal is a reincarnation of you know, your loved ones coming back to say hello. So it is what it is. It's proving to be a joyful experience for us. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how my helper today, we're using some trash and turning it into treasure. So broken concrete, which was garbage, is now being used to grow beautiful flowers and medicinal herbs for our family. So what do you think? Worth, worth the effort? Good. Also, I just realized something like, when you go into neighborhoods, there's people whose like yards are like square and like the ones that have trees, it's just like trees and then the tall grass is just like a square, but like we don't really have that, there's just like stuff. 
Yeah, we don't really have a green grass. We're not really grass people, right? We have weed. Part painful prickers. My kids are so enthralled with the neighborhoodness of people, which you know has a pros has its pros and cons. Um, all right, well we're gonna sign off and keep working before the sun gets hot. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.